Remember that SV generator that I released yesterday, the Mask Kerber? It's just got even better. We now have version 1.1. You can get the code for this from the link in the video description. Click it, copy, paste, add it to the code snippets plugin. You create a brand new snippet, go and give it a title. I would call it Mask Kerber V1.1. Paste it in, save changes, activate, and this is what you're going to get. And you're going to look at it and say, well, it doesn't look that different from what we had before. But I'm going to surprise you. So over here, we have our width and height. Now, I've got an image on another page. I'm going to go and change my width and height to match that image. And by the way, you can leave it as big. It will scale it down in the preview. I've changed my width to be 540 and I'm going to change my height to be 360. Before, we could only select curved and inverted. Well, now we can select notch. We got curved, inverted and notch. Let me just show you the curve to remind you what you get. When you do that, you have the radius and you can make it go as big as you want. Okay, far more than what you normally get in the style settings of many page builders. And then we have the inverted. Now the inverted has been expanded. Before all you got was the radius and the smoothness. Now you get the inverted width and the inverted height as well as the smoothness. So if you wanted to start with 100 width and 100 height, you could do that. And you could go and adjust how smooth you want it to be. But what if you wanted it to be like wider? Okay, fine. Let's go and make the width of this be 200. Now the shape you're going to get could look a little bit peculiar, but you can play around with this to exactly how you want it to look. So if you want your width to be bigger or your height to be bigger, you can now do that. But let's now address the brand new feature notch. I'm going to go and pick notch and I will now have settings for the width and the height. Look, we get a bit of a notch. I want to make it wider. I can do. I'm going to shrink it down. I want to make it taller. I can do. Remember, if you overdo it, you will get some funky shapes that will still work as a mask. So if you want to be really creative, you can do. And if you want to make these like really small or however big you want them to be, you have now even more control. So you're not just getting your curve border or your inverted. You can mix it up with a bit of a notch. That looks like a bit of a character out of a Muppet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code down here. Remember, though, at any time when you copy any code or you go and stick it on any of your images or you've hit reset or you've come back to your page later on, as long as you've got that CSS code and you can get it back again from your image, Go and paste it over here and then hit import code and it brings back all of your settings. Let's go and use that code. There's an image above me. The current style of this is 540 in width and 360 in height. Let's go over to the advanced tab, go to custom CSS. I'm going to paste it in. Watch the image. It's taken on that eagle shape. Like seriously, I knew the mask curve was good and I know a lot of people are loving it, but I've just made it even better. Please let me know in the comments what you think to actually let other people know just how damn useful this is. And also to give confidence to the fact of what we can do with a bit of AI with code snippets as well. We can do imaginative, amazing things with our imagination. <laughs> I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.